Okay. Hold on. There we go. I knew that was going to happen. All right. So it says find the value of c that completes the square. So what we want to do is I'm going to kind of show you the steps to completing the square. And we're just going to, we just want to kind of start with the introductory steps of completing the square. The first thing to completing the square is you have to understand that we're dealing with quadratics when we're completing the square. So the first thing we want to remember is all quadratics can be written in the form of ax plus bx plus c. Right? So to complete the square, this is what you're going to, or I'm sorry, to find the value of c that's going to complete the square, here's what you're going to do. You're going to take b, so let's kind of write step one. You're going to take b divided by 2 and square it. So the first thing I need to know in my problem is I need to determine what is my b. Well, b is your coefficient of your linear variable, which is in this case is just my x. So therefore, my b is going to be 6. Correct? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 6 divided by 2 and square it. That's going to give me 9. As 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 squared is 9. Right? So therefore, I have x squared plus 6x plus 9. So 9 is the value of c that completes my square. That's all we got to do to start. That's all I got to do. Just, I'll just, just do that. I'll explain why we need to find that value in a second. Okay? Just do that for your video or for your work. I put 